Hello guys, welcome back to Review Rant. Today, I'm going to do a little off-topic video. Not a review necessarily, but just more or less a theories video. And our theories video today is Red Dead Redemption 3, one of my absolute favorite game series of all time. Uh, today, I'm going to be giving a little bit of uh, theories and seeing if they would hold up to what I think Red Dead Redemption 3 should be about. So, uh, without further ado, let's just get into it. Now, I have four theories for this, and again, without further ado, let's just get into my first theory, which will be Jack Marson's life. So, it seems like most people do want Jack Marston to be the protagonist of Red Dead Redemption 3. But, however, I do oppose to this because I think that Jack Marston's story is over. Because, at the end of the first game, he killed his father's killer, and what is more powerful and more of a great send-off than doing that? That's why I personally think that his story is over. But, if we want to play around and say that, for example, he is the protagonist of the third game, these are some storylines that people have been cooking up lately. The first and most unlikely option is that Jack Marston ends up joining the army, which, if you think about it, does not make much sense, since the Vanderlyn gang's whole thing was to get away from the world. They are outlaws, and it's hard to think that with Jack Marston's life going on, that he would just suddenly join the military. To me, that doesn't make much sense, but but that's what some people think, so let them think that. Slight problem, I can't actually find another theory for Jack Marston to return, so I guess that Jack Marston won't return, so I guess we're moving on to our second option, Charles or Sadie Adler being the main character. <laughs> Now, let me just get this out of the way and say, I personally think that Sadie Adler is probably one of the most annoying characters ever, especially in the Red Dead Redemption universe. Okay, 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 hear me out. Before I get more dislikes before likes, hear me out. I think she is an interesting character, and I like her character. But, in some ways, she kind of more or less acts very, very annoying towards the characters. And at some points, gets people killed that shouldn't logically die. Sometimes I think she can be annoying, but I do not hate her character. So, please, maybe, like, subscribe back. Please. But, back to the video. What do I think of these two perfectly good characters having their own game? Personally, I'm not on board. Now, this is really the same thing I'm going to be saying with Jack Marston. I think that their stories are complete. More or less, Charles is complete. I guess there is room for Sadie Adler. If they want to make a game about her, I guess they can. But I guess it's more about her catching bounties. Since that is more or less what she was um, striving for at the end of Red Dead 2 and the epilogue. But for Charles, Charles is done. His character is complete. He is pretty much retired with his family off somewhere in Canada alone. But if they did do a Sadie Adler uh, main character for Red Dead 3, there is one thing that I would like to see her reaction to uh, John's death and Jack Marston killing Edgar Ross. I think that could be an interesting thing. But I wouldn't hold my breath for that because it probably won't happen. So, moving on to my third theory. Now, I feel like a game about Lynn and Ricketts could actually really have some good potential. For one, he is one of the fastest drawlers in the Red Dead universe. As far as I remember, I think he is the fastest, especially in his prime, especially if we get him in his prime. This could possibly be a really good game. This is a part in the video where I say it is the 
better option. The other ones are, you know, good, but this one, for the people who want a new story, who don't want to focus on the Vanderlyn gang, were fulfilling their needs by having a new character, Landon Ricketts, which is not really a new character. He is the character from Red Dead Redemption 1. But still, I think, in my opinion, I think Landon Ricketts has a really good chance. But at the end of the day, I don't really see him as the main character of Red Dead Redemption 3. A little off topic, but I swear, does Landon Ricketts look just like Sam Elliott? Here, take a look. Bro, this is uncanny. And it's very weird. Okay, moving on to my fourth and final theory. Okay, guys, now this is a theory that I really want to see and really want to happen. And talk about as well because I think this theory has so much potential to be the case and to be real that I think that it could really be a great story and that would be the story of Davy and Mac Callender let's get into this I think the story would really benefit because in my mind I'm thinking that we have been hearing about Blackwater since like 2010. 2010 is when we heard about Blackwater. And then the second game uh, was right after Blackwater. We actually never got to see Blackwater. Now, I'm getting a little ahead of myself in thinking of this, but what I'm trying to say is I'm thinking that this game can do so much. This can be a prequel to the second game, which was a prequel to the first game. This has so much potential to finally shed a light on Blackwater. Now, I think that this is not only a good idea because that also means that people who love the Vanderlyn gang, we can finally also get to see, well, around the camp, we'll get to see the main characters. Who knows, maybe Roger Clark could make a cameo, uh, Dutch, and, and all these other characters. They can be a part of the story, and it could be so well handled. And at the end of the game, we can finally get Blackwater, which we've been teased for like 15 years now. Yes, almost 15 years of wanting to know what happened at Blackwater. We can finally get to see if they actually go through with this uh, for Red Dead Redemption 3. Now... This game will most likely not come out until like 2030, since they just pushed back GTA 6, which is kind of a bummer. But, uh, praying that this game will be good, I think that this game, I think the main characters should be Davey or Matt Callender, one of the two, because it could add so much to this game, and it could finally shed a light on the story, and we can actually finally get uh, closure to the Vanderlyn game. But that's just some of my theories that I want to talk to you guys about today. Uh, kind of all over the place, but I think this really has some potential. And that's what I would like to see. Comment down below what you guys would like to see. Because I'm very, very interested. And I love the world of Red Dead Redemption. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Peace out. Just